Hi, I'm Mr. Landry. I'm the principal of Grays Lake Central and welcome. We normally do this in front of you, but because of COVID and because we're not all back, we're doing this virtually. As you can see, I'm in my, well, you don't know, but I'm in my office and I'm wearing my mask because we believe in safety here. But for this, I'm gonna take off my mask. A um, Couple of things that we're gonna do in this, in this meeting with you guys today is I'm gonna introduce you to the rest of the building administrators and we're going to show you some sites around the building so that you can get an idea of what we have here. Three. As a high school, academics are vital to our success. We know that at Grays Lake Central, we take it very seriously. We want you to take it very seriously too. Um, we are known regionally and nationally as an excellent school. Um, and it's because of excellent students and excellent teachers. And soon you'll be able to meet them. Three. We have an excellent science department, and here's the layout of what will be when we come back in the hybrid model. This is one of our physics labs. Looking forward to having you guys have the opportunity to learn in our spaces. At Grays Lake Central, we're the Ramley. And the way that we are the Ramley is 80% of our students are involved in an extracurricular or athletic event. We want you to be involved. It helps your academics, it helps your social emotional, and it helps you know what it's like to be a member of the Ramley. Grays Lake Rams, we're here for you. You guys are freshmen, but you're Rams, okay? And that's the important part. Welcome. Thanks for listening to what I had to say. I appreciate it. Our next speakers are gonna be Mrs. Jordan, She's our Associate Principal for Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. Przbilski, our Associate Principal for Student Services, and Mr. Mo, our Athletic Director. Thanks. Hi Rams, my name is Ms. Georges. I'm the Associate Principal of Curriculum and Instruction here at Grays Lake Central. You probably know me best right now from your daily attendance link that I send out each morning, but I actually do a lot more here at Central. To truly introduce myself, I need you to answer a question for me first. What do you want to be when you grow up? Now I know people have been asking you this question since you were very little, but I want you to take a second and think about it right now. The next four years here at Central are gonna go really quickly. And when you cross that stage at graduation, what are you hoping to achieve? Are you gonna go to college, the military, go right into a job? Think about that for just one moment. Whatever idea popped in your head, that's my job. My job is to make sure that whatever that dream was can become a reality because I have ensured that the courses and the content and the skills and the knowledge that all of you need to accomplish any of your goals is available to you here at Grays Lake Central that any path any one of you chooses to pursue has an opportunity here for you to explore and grow and prepare to achieve that goal. Now I'm recording today in a classroom because this is really what I do at Central. Anything that goes on with teaching and learning and assessment, everything that happens between you and your teachers every day is what I supervise and support and build and make available to you. I'm very proud to say that we offer a variety of elective courses in the world languages and the career and tech ed and music and fine arts, um, a lot more options for students to pursue their passions than most schools typically afford. And my job here is to make sure that every class you take and every opportunity you pursue is rigorous, is high quality, and is gonna help you achieve your dreams. One of the other things that I do at Grays Lake Central is assessments. So over the years, whenever you take an SAT or an AP test, you're gonna receive some pretty important communications from me. Please make sure you open those emails. They're gonna have all the information and assignments that you need to get to those important assessments on time in the right place. Now, while you're here at Central, 
you're going to have to fulfill some courses that are graduation requirements. They're comprised of the core ideas and subjects that will make you a well-rounded student. Most of your core subjects will require studies in English, math, social studies, and science. While some of these courses are part of your core graduation requirements, each department also offers a variety of those additional electives for you to be able to explore beyond the boundaries of your basic education. For example, I'm standing in a science lab where you can choose to take part of our AP program science coursework with courses like AP Biology, AP Chemistry, AP Environmental Science, and AP Physics. We want to ensure that any of you who may have thought of pursuing a STEM field know that here at Central, there are a variety of options for you to pursue those pathways. Now, in addition to those core subjects that I mentioned, I'm very proud to say that Grays Lake Central is one of the few high schools in the area that still keeps many career and tech ed labs on the premises. For example, right now I'm standing in our Woods and Meadows lab. And if you have an interest in these kind of lab-based career fields, such as culinary arts, or the technical arts, such as woods and metals, or our business arts, such as computer programming and mobile makers, we maintain all of those labs here on site, as well as a partnership with the Lake County Tech Campus when you're an upperclassman. This is one example of many of the focus here at Grays Lake Central in District 127 to focus on real learning. In this case, real stands for relevant, engaging, and authentic learning. So I go back to what I said at the beginning of this video. My job here is to make sure that each and every one of you has the capacity to pursue your dreams. And I'm working really hard to make sure that any idea, any concept, any goal, or any pathway that any of you wish to pursue has a path and a home here at Grays Lake Central. In addition to our core subjects and career tech ed opportunities, Grays Lake Central also has a robust world language program. We offer Spanish, French, and German, and we support the Seal of Biliteracy program. This allows students to receive an additional designation on their diploma indicating that they are bilingual in more than one language. We also have a robust fine arts program spanning courses in the visual arts, the music arts, and theater. Many of those programs also overlap into extracurricular activities, so students can pursue the arts not only during the school day, but in the after school programming as well. And finally, I'm probably sitting in a classroom that for some of you might be your favorite class of the day, PE. I know it's a little different right now. Uh, I've heard there's some great workouts online happening, um, but I'm sitting in one of our health classes. And PE is yet another opportunity where students have choice um, in what courses they wanna take. I hope you have a better understanding of all of the things that Grays Lake Central has to offer. And more importantly, maybe you know a little bit more about what my job is here. I really hope that we can get everybody back in the building soon. So instead of this video, I can finally meet you all face to face. In the meantime, take care, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you soon, Rams. Hello, my name is Mike Prisbilski. I'm the Associate Principal for Student Services here at Grays Lake Central. I have the Deans of Students, the School Counselors, our School Social Workers, our Psychologist, and our Prevention and Wellness Coordinator under me. We are here to service students and to support you in any way we can. I am now in the Dean of Students office the deans of students mainly have attendance and discipline underneath their job responsibilities, but they are utilized in many different ways. If you receive a pass to come down to the dean of students office, it's not always in a disciplinary manner. Our IDs are required 
to be worn each and every day at school. That's one of their responsibilities that they deal with, as well as just being a resource for students. So please utilize them to the best of your abilities. Each day as you enter the building, you're going to be required to have your ID on and you will be temperature checked to make sure you are safe to attend school. All good, have a good day. I'm in the hallway where our school counselors, our social workers, and our psychologists are located. Please utilize these individuals as you need them. They are a wealth of knowledge and they are here to support you. We look forward to having you in the building. Please seek us out as needed. Welcome to Grace Lake Central. Hi, I'm Mr. Mo, and I'm the athletic director here at Grace Lake Central. Just like Mr. Landry, Ms. Georges, and Mr. Przybilski are in charge of activities during the school day, I'm in charge of everything that happens outside the school day. So all of your activities and clubs and your sports are going through my office. I work with Ms. Sankson, who's in charge of activities, and Ms. Erlenbaugh, who's our assistant athletic director. We have 23 sports and over 50 clubs and activities participating outside of the school day. For our 23 sports, we're currently in the fall season, which will end on October 24th. This year, due to the COVID pandemic, the IHSA has created four separate athletic seasons where there's normally three, so, so you have the opportunity to participate in four different sports. Please check our website to see which sports will be running during which season. At this time, we are running fall, uh, fall camps for those sports that are not currently in during the season. Please contact me if you have any interest in participating in those camps. All of our clubs and activities are currently meeting remotely. However, we do hope to get them back in person as soon as possible. Please refer to the list that was given to you in the green folder during materials pickup for the list of all of our activities. If there's something that you are interested in that's not on the list, please feel free to contact me and we'll see if we can help you out in getting something started in that area. In the end, the theme we want you to take away from today is to be involved. High school is a much more rewarding experience when you're involved outside the school day. With all of our clubs, activities, and athletics that we offer, there's something for everyone. And if there's not, we'd be willing to try and see if we can help you out. Thank you for listening. We look forward to seeing you in person someday and have a great day.